Okay, we're going to um, have Sister Hester Hinton to come up and give us a song, and then we'll also have Sister Cindy to give us a couple of songs, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, come on, Sister Hester and Cindy. Amen. Come on. Okay, even though the weather is, it's wet out there, but That's look, right. with That's God, right. all yeah. things are possible. That's right. That's we right. come to give him glory, Amen. honor, and praise. Amen. Thank you. Okay, come on, sisters. Amen. Great is the Lord. Yes, man. Worthy. Worthy. Yes. Worthy. Worthy. Yes. He is to be praised. Yes. yes. So we are excited. Did y'all have a good time yesterday? Yes. 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 We had such a good time, the, the brothers was waiting on us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one, two. Uh, has God smiled on you? Yes. Yeah. No, has he smiled on you? Yeah. Right now, if you know that God has smiled, you should be upstanding. Thank you. Give God some praise right now. Give God some praise right now. For he is worthy. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. God.
everybody, every organ, every tissue, every joint. Tell the Lord, you Lord. Thank you, Lord. And God is so good. God.
what they were going to do Lord have mercy. on this day, the day that Freddie's parents laid him to rest. Lord have mercy. I know this is just a drive-by, but if you do not Snapchat, post, Instagram, if you don't do that, if you don't tweet, if you are not on Vine, if you are not on Kick, if you do not Snapchat, if you don't do it, find somebody who does so that you can follow your kids and you can talk to them and you will know what they're doing. Yes, ma'am. Amen. 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 Okay, that's mine. I'd like to, um, and I just, I just had to say that. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Because we're talking about modern families, yeah, and all yeah, modern yeah. means is that it's now, today. Yeah. That's what modern means, it's of today. I can't talk about this without talking about this incident. One of the things that um, when we think about modern families, and I'm going to get to my lesson, um, you know, we, we talk about these kids today. Oh, these kids, they've lost their mind. They're running amok. They are out of control. We say that. And they are. It, it's a different world. But we as people need to realize that uh, it wasn't just this generation. You see, because I'm in the community and I'm at the schools and now more than ever, grandparents are raising their grandchildren. So when we talk about modern family, and we talk about being a people of purpose, passion, and power, we need to see that there's a generation, not just this one right here, the generation that don't have their kids, that the grandparents are raising these kids. So, so somewhere in the previous generation, something yeah. happened there too, yeah. and yes. we need to be honest yeah. yes. about that. So, weak but not powerless. Yeah. Weak but not powerless. Everybody here understands what weak means. Everybody woke up, had some pains, and had some joint aches, and you know, when you walk, it was loud, you know, walking quietly isn't the same anymore. And most of us, surprisingly, can deal with physical weakness. But physical weakness is not what I'm here to talk about. When you're weak in the spirit, when you're weak because of family, when you're weak because of church family, when you're weak because of home, when you're weak because of the job, when you're weak because you're spiritually drained. That's a whole different kind of weakness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are not powerless. We are actually powerful. I was given Ephesians 2.11, which we, if any of you guys were in last night, you've heard this verse, um, Ephesians 2.11, and I'll just do it, say it for um, remembrance sake. Therefore, remember that you, once Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision, by what is called the circumcision made in the flesh by hands. 
mouthful. A mouthful. But here's what I took out of that. And you have to forgive me. If I seem a little rudimentary, elementary, and and I, and I say things plain, it's because I work with kids. Yes. And, and, and I'm the kind of person, when you talk to me about the Bible, and when we talk about spirituality and my salvation, I need you to make it plain. Mm -hmm. so, so I try to do the same thing. I try to make it plain. So when I read this, it wasn't that plain to me. So I had to reach back and see what this was saying, where was this coming from? So we all know who Paul is. We talked a great deal about Paul. And this was an, an epistle that uh, Paul wrote. And an epistle is a letter. Let me just, can I use a letter? Can I say oh, a letter? Yes, okay. Yes. He wrote epistles. That's what, you know, the, the name is. But, but this was in a letter. And I think we should get the history behind this, the purpose, and then the power that we have um, from, this, from this subject. So everybody know a Gentile, that's us, okay? We're Gentiles. Paul, y'all know who Paul is, right? Paul is that fiery, convicted brother. Temperament, he was the foremost prosecutor of the faith. We do remember. Remember? Okay? And, and it's important to know who, who's talking to you. Who's telling you. Just as it is important to know who your audience is. Okay? So, Paul, you know, in Acts, in the book of Acts, he was on the road to Damascus. Okay? Everybody know the story. And he was changed. All right. Paul also started the church at Ephesus. To say that Paul was greatly used of the Lord would be an understatement. Paul was a soldier of the gospel. Paul was a defender. Paul gave his life. Paul wrote this letter from jail because it wasn't Paul's position that gave him the passion. It was where Paul had been, and it was the Lord saving Paul to write this letter. So he wrote this letter, and he wrote it to the church in Ephesus. Now, if you know anything about history, read the Bible about this, Ephesus was a city. Ephesus was a port city. Ephesus had diversity from everywhere. Along came with the diversity was the diverse beliefs, the wizards, the sorcerers. It housed one of the seven wonders of the world. Ephesus was almost something like Miami. <laughs> the port city? Where the ships come in, the diversity, it reminds me of Miami. Some people may think that Miami holds one of the seven wonders of the world on Miami Beach. Exactly. So, I need you to picture this. Major city, all this going on. Before Paul originally came to Ephesus, Ephesus was running amok, okay? The only thing that could save Ephesus was the preaching of Jesus Christ, okay? So when Paul got there, and, and, and if you know your, it's why it's important to know your history, it's important to know where this is coming from, because see, race riots didn't just start. Amen. Oh, Amen. The Jews were not That's happy right. with That's the right. unity that Paul was preaching, because the Gentiles are now the same as the Jews, and the Jews right. said, oh no, yeah. we've been, we, we were poor, we were servants. Mm -hmm. And Paul was like, hey, that was by hands. That's by hands. 
circumcised. You called. You was called uncircumcised. You was called. No, no, no. Now we are one. That's right. That's right. We are now one. So race riots did not just start. Okay. Amen. Important to know your history. Now the purpose. Paul wrote this letter, and 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 it didn't say that. When you read this, when you read Ephesians two, and you read the beginning of Ephesians. It doesn't really say Paul wrote this letter because of some books of the Bible in John 20, 31, he'll, he'll tell you. He'll, John will say, these are written for. This doesn't do that. When you read it, though, you will understand that he wanted the church of Ephesus to be encouraged. He wanted the church of Ephesus to remember. And sometimes, and some people don't like to be reminded, but the church of Ephesus was pushing through anyhow. They were praising, they were trying to stay faithful, they were in the midst of a major city, different cultures, different religions. One of the biggest attractions was a false god, a goddess. But the church of Ephesus was right there doing God's work. And he needed to remind them. Because it says, therefore remember. Paul says, therefore remember. Remember when you were once Gentiles in the flesh, remember that God saved you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remember, let me encourage you from my jail cell. Let me encourage you in spite of. Yes. Yeah. And how many of us do that today? When you see a young person that might not be your child or your grandchild or your niece or your nephew, just a kid, a young adult that's doing right, and maybe they don't know the gospel, but maybe you're encouraging yeah. words, yeah. may ask them or may lead them to it. So when is the last time, despite your position, that you said, let me encourage you. When is the last time that you said, hey, remember, remember who you are, even in the church, forget about that, just in the church. When is the last time, this is your church family, when is the last time you took a brother or a sister and said, therefore, Remember, remember, he reminds and encourages them that they are blessed greatly. There's no distinction. He preaches unity. We are all in this together. He encourages them to live their lives worthy among everything that's going on around them. There is no way that we could have saved ourselves. Think about yourself. Amen. There is no way you could have saved yourself. Yeah, yeah. We have a gracious and loving God. We are reminded that the grace of our Lord and Savior can fuel our passion. Our passion is strong emotion. That's what passion is. Yeah. Strong emotion. And Lord knows Nothing stirs your emotion like family, like children, like your husband, like your father. Nothing stirs you up more than family. And since we are now one, we are now adopted under the blood, under the salvation, we are all family. Our passion should be in that. All right. 
Our passion should not be weak to the world, but be in the power of Jesus who saved us. If, if you don't feel your passion, if you say, I'm, I'm weak, let me remind you that he came here for you. He came here for me. My passion is in knowing what God has done for me and my family. My passion is when I look at my little black son who is now in college, who survived. I didn't have to bury him. I didn't have to go to the graveyard, to the jail cell. I have another son at home who is smart as a whip. And sometimes when I get discouraged and I read my Bible and I know that God died so that my kids could be here and that there was hope for them, that my husband leaves our house every day and he comes home. Yeah, 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 yeah. My passion. You don't have to look very far. You just need to remember. Yeah. Let me remind you. Your passion is right here. Open your Bible. And your power. Your power. Let me just say, when Paul said, therefore remember, mm -hmm. he says that because he wants you to know that we are not of the flesh. We are living in the flesh, but we are of God. God, we are under salvation, and our power comes from our promise. And it doesn't mean that we won't get weak. It doesn't mean that we won't grow weary. It means that we have been promised something by our Lord and Savior. Our power comes from that. Especially when we're holding steadfast. And it says becoming a people of purpose. But our purpose was decided in the beginning. God knew what he was going to do with us from the beginning. Our purpose was already planned. Amen. Our passion and using the power that God has given us, God has promised that will conquer our family matters. It will conquer our weakness. The promise, the promise is unto us and to our children. Let me just, Acts 2, 38, 39. Book and verse. Peter said, everybody know you go to church, you, you know that every Sunday say, you, you, you guys remember Acts 38, 39, right? Familiar verse. Peter said, repent in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift. For the promise is to you and to your children. You and your children, let me remind you that when we accepted the salvation, we accepted the gift that God has promised, and God does not break his promises. Amen. My passion, my purpose was decided a long time ago that we are here that we need encouraging sometimes. And it's okay to say, it's okay to say that I need that because sometimes I do. Sometimes I need a sister, sometimes I need a brother to say, remember when. Yeah. Remember when. Ladies, we are not powerless, but we are powerful. Understand that it is his promise, Ephesians 3, 6 through 7, it's his promise in Christ through the gospel, of which I became a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given to me by the effective working power 
it is written. Our purpose, our passion, our power are in the pages. You just got to open them up and believe that God has already delivered us. Our modern family matters. They are taken care of. We just need to believe. We need to be faithful. We need to be steadfast. Our God is a confident God. He pushes that on us if we will just accept it. Our history as Christians, let's, that lets us know our purpose. Our purpose is to know that we need to be encouraging like Paul, but reminded that we are under grace and the salvation of our Lord. We are not powerless ladies. We are powerful. If you are the head of your bed, if you are the only one in there, if you are the center, the cornerstone of your family, you have power. You can't do it by yourself. You can't. You can't do it by yourself. You have to rely on the salvation and the promise of God. And that is where our power comes from. And I just want to read Proverbs 3, 25 through 26. When we think about our purpose, our passion, and our power. And we say, oh Lord, we turn on the news and say, my God, what are they doing? I think of Proverbs 3, 25 through 26, and it says, do not be afraid of sudden terror, nor of trouble from the wicked. Not if it comes. But when it comes, the Lord will be your confidence. Thank you, ladies. Oh, we could do better than that.